Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is and peace out to the rest of you. Black heart, black mind, black in again. Hit the share button because the message is more important than the messenger. Look, uh, I'm going to uh, go on a preemptive charge against the charge that's going to be um, brought by somebody. Uh, not only against me, but against others who have uh, decided to share their story with me and with others. The prime example right now is Jay Cash. Now, he's new to this. His delivery will get better over time, but uh, he has grabbed the courage necessary to tell the story. And granted, Neither of us even even knows what the other one looks like, nor our real names. I know what region he's from, and it's actually very analogous to the region from which I come. This is much as we know about each other, but I can tell from the patterns uh, that this is exactly what has happened, what he said. And there are others, too, that are coming out and telling the stories. <clears throat> there are going to be those, um, some gynocrats and others goons, of the gynocracy that are going to say that's not what happened you're just ugly um, or you're just lame and that's all it was and that's an easy thing to say and that's an easy thing to believe because no I'm not camming up I'm not putting other people out there like that um, I don't recommend anybody with kids cam up I don't recommend that for Mr. Cannon to do that is very brave uh, but I never tell anybody with kids to camera, unless the kids are adults. I'm not sure I'm gonna do that even though my son is on the cusp of adulthood. I'm not about to do that and put him at that risk. Um, but it's easy to believe. But what I'm gonna say is this. This is not necessarily, but we telling our stories is not uh, some sort of denial. What it is, is this. We're not saying that every time we go out in public, everybody falls over us, me or him or anyone else, but they just feel they're just, they're just too uh, emotionally um, insecure and preoccupied with what others think to admit their taste. What I am saying is that there are going to be those who have various opinions. That's a natural uh, thing to expect. That's the most realistic outcome for anyone. There will be those that like what they see, those that don't notice, those that don't like what they see. There will be some that hate what they see, and not even uh, because it's ugly to them, but there will be those who hate what they see because they will feel reminded of what someone else did to them. What I'm simply saying is that the opinions about any of us are likely to be all over the place because there are just so many people in general. More women, of course, than there are men. We're not saying everybody has a secret crush. We're saying that those who have crushes or just like what they see, don't have a crush, they just like what they're looking at. What we're simply saying is that whoever has this positive reaction at any level of severity has to fuck the shuck up about it in front of other ladies. That's what we're saying. That's what we're getting at. And the reason that they have to is because of social pressure. The trends in social pressure. They can't just come out and say um, that they have a favorable reaction. Until, of course, their situation is so bad that they can look at us and say that we're not so bad. That's what I'm getting at. So before anybody tries this stuff with him or me, I'm just going to go ahead and say it now. We've never taken on an arrogant position, nor has anyone else that has taken up the call to tell their story. We've simply reported an observation that when someone has a favorable reaction or does not mind the appearance of what they can see, they still must hide it. They cannot sit up and say, well, actually, uh, you get the idea. I've said enough. Thanks for listening. Black heart, black mind, black out. Aslam, Lakum.
uh, black, heterosexual, non-select, even incel male power just because they don't like it. 